increasing the size of VM in Ubuntu. So I'll explain you how you can use the VirtualBox tool to increase the size of VM and then use the JParted to resize the partition. So in this, this Ubuntu is uh, using the complete space that is 8 GB which is allocated. So I have started it. It's still starting. Enter the password. So, uh, since this computer has only 0 bytes disk space, it is giving this error. Low disk space. This computer has only 0 bytes disk space remaining. You can free up disk space by removing unused program or files or by moving files to external disk. So, if I click on examine, it's going to, it will show the current uses and uh, actually this space is zero. So, steps would be, so first is to increase the size of VM. Second, so install or boot from the gparted image. So, we can either install the gparted on the same system or use the gparted image to boot the system and then resize the disk. So, since there is no space, we cannot install the gparted. So, we will use the gparted image and then increase the partition. So, I will show you all these steps one by one. So, this is the current usage of uh, hard disk and here we have zero space. Total disk size is 5.1. GB. So close this. Now we are going to shut down the system. Then we'll increase the size of VM. Then use the gparted image to boot the OS and then finally increase the size of VM. Then restart the. So we are going to shut down the system. Shut down. After shutting down the VM, make sure that it is powered off. So it is saying that powered off. And now we are going to resize the partition from 6.2 GB to 40 GB. For this, uh, first off, make sure. So this is the VM we are going to resize. Current size is 6.2 GB. So first of all, make sure that you have taken the backup. So I am creating the zip file. And after that, we will go to this directory. Then use the V box manage and then pass the parameter modify and the disk image name and then minus minus resize this one so this is going to be resize it to 40 gb so this is the vdi file virtual disk image that we are going to resize just wait for the chip to be created so archive is created and now we can use the command to resize Now it has resized the disk. Now we will download the gparted. To download the gparted on the Google Chrome, then paste the URL gparted.org slash download.php. And here we have the link to download the gparted live CD USB HP PXC bootable image. So click here. So it is downloading here. Once download is complete, we can start our experiment. I was not able to boot the Ubuntu using the gparted ISO. So I installed it on Ubuntu after removing some of the softwares. So if you don't know how to install the gparted, you can use this command sudo apt get install gparted and then it will install the gparted. You can also see this tutorial on our website that shows you how you can install the gparted on linux or on the ubuntu so we will start the gparted it is asking for the password enter the password then authenticate now this is uh, 31.06 gigabyte which is unallocated and we cannot move it the 6.00 gigabyte so we cannot move like drag and drop so first of all we have to click and then swap off the Linux web partition then partition resize and move so after this click on extended then resize and move so now we can resize the extended partition that is slash tev slash sd2 then click on resize now next thing is to uh, move this uh, swap partition so right click then resize and move now we can move this here now click on resize it is saying that after this operation we 
want to be able to boot or there may be some issue so we, since we have already taken the backup no issue then click on ok now this is here and we have this partition we can select this just right right click on extended resize and move and we can resize or we can decrease the size and resize move now we have this unallocated partition we can extend the size of ext2 so right click it resize and move and we can extend it then click on resize so all these operations are not applied first second third and fourth now everything is done our partition is uh, increased the part size is increased to 37.06 gigabyte it's almost 40 gig, gig and uh, this is the swap partition and we have just uh, some unallocated so everything is done we can click on yes and then apply now the operation is uh, being performed by the gparted and it is showing all operation successfully completed and these are the details now click close now we have uh, more space in ext4 partition and this way we have successfully increased the vm size from around 6 gigabyte to around 37 or 40 gigabyte so in this video tutorial you learn all these things so we can visit our website and here you can find many tutorials thanks for watching the video and subscribe our channel